the very first lecture of operating system i am mr p r sari working as a lecturer in computer technology department from snjb's shri hsjb polytechnic chandwar today i am going to discuss with the introduction of operating system this subject is for the fifth semester in diploma in computer engineering group the course title for this subject is the operating system the abbreviation used for this subject is osy while the subject code provided by the msbt is 22516 in this lecture we are going to cover the following topics number 1 we discuss with the teaching and examination scheme for the fifth semester then we go with a rational means why to learn this particular subject then we go for course outcomes then we discuss with the teaching and examination scheme for this subject and finally we will discuss regarding the unit wise mark distributions as well as which books you can refer for this so first of all let us discuss with the teaching and examination scheme for the fifth semester friends in the fifth semester we have total five theory subjects namely environmental study operating system advanced java programming software testing and among the three elective we have to select any one generally in our college we will go with the client side scripting language thus uh, students 500 marks are allocated for the theory part and for the practical part 400 marks are allocated by the msbt thus your fifth sem will cover 900 marks then we discuss with the rational for the operating system means why to learn the operating system subject friends we know that to run any computer we should require the operating system so operating system is a very important and main part of any computer or a laptop the rational is an operating system is basically a system program that controls the execution of application programs and acts as an interface between applications and the computer hardware it manages the computer system resources to be used in an efficient manner this course enables to learn internal functioning of operating system and will help in identifying appropriate operating system for given applications or tasks then next comes the course outcome means what a particular student can perform after completion of this particular subject so number one course outcome is install operating system and configure it it indicates that after completion of this particular subject the student is able to install any operating system needed according to their choices or the application as well as the student can able to configure it also second co is use operating system tools to perform the various function so operating systems are providing the different components as well as the various services and the functions to a computer so how we can use these or how you can utilize these types of tools for our appropriate situation this can be performed by the student third is a execute process commands for performing process management operations there are various commands like dos command or gui commands so how to execute these types of uh, commands for the process management the student is able to perform these types of execution when the course is completed the course here is a subject number 4 is a 
apply scheduling algorithms to calculate the turn around time and average waiting time there are various scheduling algorithms like first come first serve shortage of first so which types of algorithm scheduling algorithms we can implement as well as how we can calculate the turn around time for that as well as the average waiting time this also can be performed when the student complete this particular subject number 5 is calculate the efficiency of different memory management techniques different types of memory managements we have like a primary memory and secondary memory management so how to manage the memory as well as how efficiently we can use the memory allocations this can be performed by the student and last co is a apply file management techniques so whenever we are going to save the data we, that thing can be managed by using a file management so how we can apply these types of management by using the operating system this can be utilized by the student after the completion of this particular subject next comes the teaching and examination scheme for this subject so uh, for the osi total marks are 150 100 marks are given for theory while 50 marks are allocated for the practical session the theory part is again divided into the two parts one is a ese that is end semester examination and second one is a pa here ese is allocated 70 marks so students will appear for the theory paper which is composed of 70 marks while pa is again divided into two parts one is a for 20 marks while another part is of 10 marks the 20 marks are given for the average of the test which will be conducted throughout the semester while 10 marks are given for the micro project next comes the unit wise mark distribution so next comes unit wise mark distribution the course osy is divided into six units number 1 is overview of operating system in this unit we will discuss with introduction of operating system types of operating system like batch operating system real time operating system multi program operating system and different operating system for mobiles like ios and android this will be covered in 6 hour while 8 marks are allocated number 2 unit is services and components of operating system so operating system provides various services like io operation resource allocation as well as different types of components components like process management memory management so we will discuss all these in a unit number 2 which will be covered in 6 hour and 10 marks are allocated for unit number 2 unit number 3 is process management in this unit we will discuss with process the states of process then inter process communication as well as the different types of threads it will be covered in 10 hours while 14 marks are allocated unit number 4 is cpu scheduling and algorithms in this unit we will discuss with scheduling types as well as scheduling algorithms like round robin first come first serve shortest job first this will be covered in 10 hours while 14 marks are allocated unit number 5 is memory management in this unit we will discuss with the basic concepts of memory as well as the concepts like paging segmentation as well as the different page replacement policies this will be covered in 10 hours while 14 marks are allocated unit number 6 is the file management in this unit we will discuss with the basic concepts of file like attribute as well as we discuss with the access method and different types of disk organization and disk structure this will cover in 6 hour while 
it will allocated with the 10 marks so this is the distribution of 70 marks so 70 marks are divided in 6 unit next comes the books that we can use for this subject so we can use following books operating system concepts by galvin operating system by godbole operating system internals and design principle by william unix concepts and programming by mr das operating system by mr damdhare or we can use operating system by dr rajendra sir so these are the books that can be used for the operating system thank you very much